to this video, I hope you guys are doing well. Today I'm going to be doing one of my favourite looks and it's also Valentine's Day very soon so I thought this will go just in time as Valentine's Day inspiration for you guys and I hope you guys like it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel please make sure you do so. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it with all your friends and just yeah just enjoy it. So without further ado let's get started. So I have already primed my face, I have sprayed it with my Skin Denavia Primer Spray, I just sprayed this generously on my face, I've done that off camera. I also use some of my Milk of Magnesia on my T-zone and just to allow for better blending because the Milk of Magnesia does dry and it gets quite hard on the skin, I use this Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. It just helps to smoothen out the skin a little bit which helps for better blending. So first and foremost I always start with my eyebrows which I'm going to get into now. I like to use Max Fluid Line in the colour Dip Down. Now it's like a gel paste and I use it with a brush. I don't do a lot of filling in, I just kind of draw lines and create more of a defined brow. gonna go in with some concealer which I've mixed with my foundation I'm gonna mix a little bit of my pro conceal in medium fierce with glitter or pigment any kind um, application I have just packed that on I'm gonna go in with my blending brush and I'm just gonna blend out all these messy edges and I'm gonna use a little bit of pink to do that because we want the color to come out I'm gonna be using my foundation in NC50 let that warm up and I'm gonna use this to neaten up the top of my brow so I put my foundation on the back of my hand just to warm it up and I've wet my beauty blender. I've squeezed out all the excess water so I'm just going to use it to apply my foundation. go in with my concealer and this is just to highlight under my eyes my forehead my nose and my chin and I'm using LA girl in cool tan I'm gonna be using this side of my beauty blender just to blend all these bits in because I'm gonna need the other side for my contour which is obviously as a darker color and I don't want to mix these sponges the sponge sides <laughs> gonna use my contour color in dark cocoa and I'm just gonna use this contour my nose my cheekbone my forehead now 
I'm gonna go and apply my Sasha Buttercup powder in the places where I have applied my highlight. Now I'm gonna use my Mineralize Skin Finish in dark and I'm just gonna put it on the um, points where my highlight meets my contour just to blend it out a little bit more but I'm not gonna blend out the powder that I've just applied. I'm gonna these bits up. that taught me all these tricks. Now I'm taking my Sleek Contour Kit in medium. I'm gonna be taking the darker powder and I'm gonna be using that to contour the um, hollows of my cheek. Now I'm gonna blend my highlight powder. I'm gonna blend it all out. I've added this here just so that my contour can stand out a bit more. I'm gonna let that sit for a little while longer. And I'm gonna use my slick, my slick, my sleek contour kit again, just to contour my nose. I'm using two different colors. This one is Max Raisin really love this color this is max sunbask my main color is going to be sunbask but because it's more of a shimmer tone i'm going to be using raisin because this is more of a matte color and it just it's going to add color rather than shimmer to my face i'm going to add a bit of the sunbask first and then i'm going to go in with raisin to highlight i'm going to go with my anastasia beverly hills illuminator in peach nectar and i'm going to be adding this to the high points of my cheek a little bit on my forehead down the bridge of my nose and then i'm also going to be using some of top shops highlighter in horizon i like this one because it's got a bit of a brown hue in it as well as acting as a highlighter just over my anastasia beverly hills a tiny bit of this just on my cupid's bow and as my highlighter has come and gone all in the way of my nose contour i'm just going to go back in and neaten that up again just there don't be afraid to glow honey it's your time it's your world just glow i'm going to go back into this color it's the one that i use to sort of deepen the outside of my eyes and i'm just going to be using it under here And I'm just going to be using my brush to try and blend that out a lot more. So it's a lot more blended, I guess. Along with that, I'm going to be taking the same sleek eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be using this lighter pink here and I'm just going to dust that on the corners of my eyes. And now I'm going to apply my mascara. Obviously, mascara is optional, it's depending on your preference. And I'm going to go ahead and add my eyelashes. Before I do any of that, I'm going to apply my eyeliner. <laughs> And I'm going to be using my Demure Lashes in Adore. These are luxurious mink lashes and these are really long and I think they're just super, super cute. Whilst the glue on my second eyelash is just drying up a little bit, I'm just going to run my eyebrow gel over my eyebrows. Okay, so I felt like my nose contour in this area was just a little bit too harsh. So I've added some Sasha Buttercup powder. I'm gonna let that bake for a little bit and hopefully it's gonna allow it to be a bit more settled. I'm gonna line my waterline with my Rimmel Scandalize Curl Pencil and this is in Nude. And then I'm gonna add some mascara to my bottom lashes. And then we'll move on to my lips. I'm just gonna be putting a little bit of my Mineralize Skin Finish Medium Deep. I'm just gonna be placing that below my brow just to blend this out a little bit more. So I'm gonna go in with my current lip pencil and I'm just gonna use this to define my lips. It's gonna act as the color that's gonna sit on the outer part of my lips. But I was calling that, but clearly it wasn't. But now I'm gonna go in with cork. It's gonna allow the color of current to kind of become a lot more paler um, as I don't want it too harsh as this is too much of a harsh purple and that's not what I'm going for. So I'm gonna use this to blend out the current as well as fade out the color a bit more. And now I'm gonna go in with Subculture, another pencil by MAC, and I'm gonna use this to fill in the middle part of my lips. I have become accustomed to using like liners as lip colors themselves. You can obviously do this, or you can choose any other color that you feel like works with the look. Um, it might be lipstick, it might be pencils, completely up to you. Obviously this isn't a how-to, this is just how I do, basically. I'm 
placing a tiny bit of Missy Lynn's Serenity lipstick and I'm going to place that right in the center of my lips just to add a little bit more color. And then I'll be using cork to blend out any harsh lines that may have occurred during the application. And at this point I'm just going to take a tiny bit of my foundation and I'm going to be neatening up my lips and anywhere that I may have placed the liner that has come off a bit just to neaten it up. Last but not least I will spray my Skindinavia makeup finishing spray. I'm just going to give that a nice generous squirt. final look this is one of my favorite looks. i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and um, please leave your comments down below if you have any questions do ask me as well once again thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye for now